For years, tensions in the Pacific have been rising, and Taiwan has been at the center of it all. With the threat of missile strikes looming, traditional defenses were no longer enough. That's when a game-changing 300 billion laser system was deployed, capable of blasting enemy threats out of the sky at the speed of light. But no one expected what happened next. Was this billion-dollar laser system the breakthrough Taiwan needed, or did it face unexpected challenges? What happened when it was finally put to the test? Join us as we explore what exactly makes this $3 billion laser system a game-changer. Laser weapons are changing the future of warfare. For years, missiles have been one of the most terrifying threats in battle, racing through the sky at over 1,800 miles per hour and carrying deadly explosives. Just one can wipe out an entire area in seconds, and there was no way to stop them for a long time. But now that's all changing. A new defense has arrived, lasers, and they're turning the tide of battle like never before. These futuristic laser systems can blast enemy missiles right out of the sky in just seconds. With an incredible 300 kilowatt laser, they can melt through metal and destroy threats from six miles away. If lasers were once just cool toys, they are now powerful weapons capable of heating targets to a blistering 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit, turning metal into plasma. Countries around the world are racing to develop and improve laser technology. Every day, new advancements make them faster, stronger, and more effective. But are they really a good defense against missiles and drones? The answer seems to be a big yes. Unlike traditional air defense, which can run out of bullets or missiles, lasers fire beams of energy that don't need to be restocked. Another huge advantage is that lasers don't just hit one target at a time, they can take down multiple threats instantly, making it impossible for enemies to simply overwhelm defenses with large numbers of drones or rockets. This changes war strategies completely. Before, an enemy could just launch waves of missiles, knowing that traditional defense systems couldn't handle them all. Now with lasers, even a swarm of incoming attacks can be stopped before they reach their target. Presently, the US and Britain are leading the way with powerful new laser weapons. One interesting perk, they are incredibly cheap. Lockheed Martin's 300 kilowatt lasers that are capable of destroying missiles, drones, and even artillery shells cost just $40 per shot. Britain's Dragonfire system is even more impressive. It can shoot down million dollar missiles with laser blasts that cost just $1 per shot. In the past, air defense systems could be overwhelmed by launching a large number of drones and missiles at once. Older systems could not intercept all incoming threats simultaneously. However, laser weapons are now being developed to counter such attacks. Not all lasers are equally effective, and each type has specific characteristics and uses. Lasers are not only used for defense, but also in science, medicine, and everyday technology. For example, small lasers are used in devices such as laser pointers and optical drives. Different types of lasers operate uniquely, making them useful in various fields. One example of a laser type is the solid-state laser, which can use ruby crystals. This kind of laser is powerful enough to blind an enemy or disable electronic devices. Another common type is the semiconductor laser, which is found in household devices such as remote controls and smartphones. The small red light at the bottom of a TV remote is an example of a semiconductor laser. Another powerful type is the gas laser. These lasers have the ability to generate beams that are strong enough to cut through steel. Gas lasers are often used in industrial applications and high-powered weapon systems. They operate by exciting gas molecules to produce a focused beam of light, making them highly effective for precision cutting and military use. Laser weapons may sound like the ultimate defense, but they have some big challenges that make them tricky to use in real combat. One major problem is power. Lasers need a huge amount of energy to fire a strong enough beam to destroy a target. Right now, there are no small and efficient power sources that can keep a laser weapon running for a long time. The United States has tried to solve this by creating a rechargeable mini laser system, but its power is still too low to be truly effective. Another issue is heat. When lasers fire, they generate an enormous amount of heat, which needs to be cooled down quickly. Otherwise, the system could overheat and stop working. To manage this, large and complicated cooling systems are required, making the whole setup bulky and difficult to move. 
Scientists and engineers are working hard to make these systems smaller and more efficient, but it's still a work in progress. Lasers also struggle with distance. Unlike bullets or missiles, which keep their strength as they travel, laser beams lose power over long distances. This happens because the beam scatters and weakens as it moves through the air. Right now, most powerful laser weapons can only shoot up to about six miles, which isn't very far compared to traditional missiles and other weapons. Atmospheric conditions also affect laser performance. Factors such as dust, smoke, rain, and fog can weaken or scatter laser beams, reducing their effectiveness at long distances. This makes it challenging to rely on lasers in all combat environments. Additionally, reflective surfaces can reduce a laser's impact. If a target is covered with a mirror-like coating, the laser beam may be deflected instead of absorbed, making destruction more difficult. Electromagnetic interference is also a concern. Strong laser systems can create disruptions in other electronic equipment, which can be problematic in military applications where multiple systems must function together. Another problem is aiming. For a laser to destroy a target, it has to stay focused on the same spot for a few seconds. This might not seem like a long time, but in battle, things move fast. If a drone, missile, or fighter jet is flying at high speed and making sharp turns, keeping the laser locked onto it becomes very difficult. If the laser can't hold its beam steady, it won't be able to do any real damage. Even worse, some materials can reflect or scatter the laser beam. Imagine an enemy missile covered in a shiny mirror-like coating. Instead of absorbing the laser's heat and melting, the beam could just bounce off and do nothing. This means that opponents could find simple ways to protect their weapons from laser attacks, making laser defenses much less useful. Finally, laser systems are extremely expensive and complicated to build. They require precise parts and advanced technology, which makes them costly to produce and maintain. And on top of that, they can interfere with other electronics, causing unexpected problems in combat situations. Despite these challenges, countries around the world are working to improve laser weapons. If scientists can find ways to fix these problems by making lasers more powerful, increasing their range, and solving the heat and aiming issues, they could become the future of military defense. But for now, they still have a long way to go before they can replace traditional weapons. Laser weapons may sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, but making and maintaining them is extremely tricky. These systems need highly precise parts and complex optical technology, which makes them incredibly expensive. On top of that, there's a hidden problem many don't talk about. Lasers can interfere with other electronic systems. In combat, where communication and coordination are critical, this could cause serious issues. So while lasers are an exciting and powerful defense tool, they still have a long way to go before becoming the perfect weapon. However, this doesn't make it less desirable. British Defense Secretary Grant Shapps has emphasized the need to speed up the development of these cutting edge weapons. He believes that delays in bringing new military technology to the battlefield waste valuable defense funds. Typically, it takes about 10 years to develop and deploy a new weapon, but Shapps is determined to finish the Dragonfire sooner and get it installed on both ships and land-based defense systems. The Dragonfire's power comes from a unique set of 37 smaller lasers, each producing 1.5 kilowatts of energy. These beams are arranged in a hexagonal pattern and combined using mirrors to create a single, super-powerful laser. The result? A 300-kilowatt laser, just as strong as the American system, but with a lower operating cost and a greater effective range of up to 6 miles. Another exciting feature of this weapon is its invisibility and silence. Unlike traditional guns or missile systems, Dragonfire operates using a light wavelength that's invisible to the human eye, making it almost impossible for enemies to detect. In recent tests, it destroyed drones and even detonated mortars in under five seconds. The laser heats metal to 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit, melting through aircraft fuselages and missiles with ease. While laser weapons aren't perfect yet, they're quickly improving. If current progress continues, these high-tech defenses could soon become the ultimate shield against enemy attacks, making missiles and drones much less effective in future wars. In early 2024, the Dragonfire was tested at the Hebrides range, where it proved just how precise it is. 
In one test, it struck a tiny coin from 0.6 miles away with pinpoint accuracy. Imagine what it could do against an incoming missile. With this kind of power, it's hard to believe that any enemy weapon could escape its deadly beam. So, will lasers become the ultimate defense against modern threats? Or will traditional air defense systems still have the upper hand? One thing is clear. Dragonfire is a glimpse into the future of warfare, and that future is already here. Moving on, recent news of the formidable Iron Dome has taken over the internet. Israel is preparing to launch its new Iron Beam laser defense system within a year, calling it a game changer in modern warfare. As it battles drone and missile attacks from Iran and its allies, this advanced system is expected to strengthen Israel's air defenses. The country has invested over $500 million in contracts with Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, the company behind the Iron Dome, and Elbit Systems to increase production. Unlike traditional missile interceptors, Iron Beam uses high-powered lasers to destroy threats like rockets, drones, and mortars instantly. Eel Zamir, the Director General of Israel's Defense Ministry, described the project as a major step forward. He announced that the system's first version will be ready for action within a year. The Iron Beam will operate alongside the Iron Dome, providing a more efficient and cost-effective way to stop incoming attacks. Israel's need for the Iron Beam comes at a critical time. The country is engaged in conflicts with Hamas in Gaza and Hezbollah in Lebanon, while also clashing directly with Iran. Since the October 7 attack, Iran and its allies have launched waves of rockets, drones, and missiles at Israel, attempting to overwhelm the Iron Dome. Experts say a laser-based defense could help Israel handle these mass attacks more effectively. Unlike missile interceptors, which are expensive and take time to reload, the Iron Beam fires a laser that destroys targets instantly. It is designed to work alongside existing defenses, offering a cheaper, unlimited, and fast way to stop incoming threats. Israel first revealed a prototype of the Iron Beam in 2021 and has been working to make it fully operational. If successful, it could revolutionize air defense, making missile attacks much less effective. However, experts warn that adverse weather and high energy needs could limit its use. With increasing threats from Iran and its allies, Israel is pushing hard to deploy the Iron Beam as soon as possible. If it works as planned, it could mark a new era in warfare, changing the way battles are fought in the future. Israel is on the verge of revolutionizing modern warfare with its Iron Beam laser defense system, expected to be operational within the next year. Developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, the company behind the successful Iron Dome, this cutting-edge technology will use high-powered lasers to burn through and destroy incoming missiles, drones, rockets, and mortars in midair. Unlike traditional missile defense systems that fire costly interceptor missiles, the Iron Beam will eliminate threats instantly with an almost zero cost per shot. Experts believe this could be a game-changer in military defense, especially given the rising number of aerial threats Israel faces. Israel has been under constant attack from Hezbollah, Hamas and Iran-backed forces with thousands of rockets and drones launched at its cities and military bases. These enemies are attempting to overwhelm Israel's defenses, forcing the military to fire interceptor missiles that cost about $5,000 each. Since Israel typically fires two missiles per interception, this has become an expensive and unsustainable strategy. The Iron Beam solves this problem by using focused laser energy to superheat enemy projectiles until they collapse, making it faster, cheaper, and far more efficient. Unlike the Iron Dome, which relies on radar to track incoming threats and launch interceptor missiles, the Iron Beam operates by firing a laser that can strike targets within seconds at a fraction of the cost. This makes it especially effective against drones, which are small, fast-moving, and difficult to detect. Israel's current defenses sometimes struggle to intercept them, but the Iron Beam's precision targeting will change that. The development of the Iron Beam comes at a critical time. Since Israel's war with Hamas began in October 2023, it has faced continuous attacks from Hezbollah in Lebanon, the Houthis in Yemen, and pro-Iranian militias in Syria and Iraq. In just one day, Hezbollah launched 50 projectiles toward Israel, with some getting past existing defenses. Even Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's home in Caesarea 
was damaged in a drone strike, a sign that the threat level is growing. Other countries, including the United States, the United Kingdom, China, and Russia, have been working on laser-based weapons for years. The U.S. Navy has tested high-energy laser systems capable of shooting down aircraft in flight, while the U.K. has developed a laser weapon called Dragonfire. Iran has also claimed to have laser technology, though its capabilities remain uncertain. Intelligence reports suggest Iran may possess the Chinese-made Silent Hunter laser weapon, but experts say it is not nearly as powerful as the Iron Beam. Despite its incredible potential, the Iron Beam is not without its limitations. Like all laser-based weapons, it works best in clear weather. Rain, heavy clouds, or dust storms could weaken its effectiveness. Additionally, it requires massive amounts of energy to maintain its high-powered laser beams. While it may not be as effective against long-range ballistic missiles, it will be a crucial layer of defense against drones, rockets, and short-range attacks. Experts believe that once fully operational, the Iron Beam could force Israel's enemies to rethink their attack strategies. Reports suggest that Hamas had been rushing to carry out its October 7th attack before Israel deployed the laser system, fearing that it would neutralize their rocket attacks. If successful, the Iron Beam could shift the balance of power in the region, making large-scale aerial attacks nearly useless. For now, the world is watching to see if Israel can deliver on its promise of laser warfare. If the Iron Beam performs as expected, it will mark the beginning of a new era in military defense, where lasers replace missiles and wars are fought with beams of light instead of explosions. Now returning to the situation in Taiwan, the island is negotiating a multi-billion dollar weapons deal with the United States, aiming to strengthen its defenses and secure greater support from the Trump administration as China intensifies military pressure. Sources familiar with the talks say the deal is intended to demonstrate Taiwan's commitment to its security. One source revealed that the package would include coastal defense cruise missiles and high Mars rocket systems, with an estimated cost between $7 billion and $10 billion. The White House has not commented yet, but U.S. National Security Advisor Mike Waltz has expressed interest in speeding up weapons deliveries to Taiwan. Meanwhile, Taiwan's defense ministry did not confirm specific purchases, but stated that strengthening its military remains a top priority. China claims Taiwan as its own and has not ruled out using force to take control. Taiwan strongly rejects this claim, insisting that its future should be decided by its people. During his election campaign, Donald Trump criticized Taiwan's semiconductor industry, accusing it of taking jobs from the U.S. and recently threatened tariffs on chip imports. However, his administration has maintained diplomatic and military support for the island. On February 7, Trump and Japanese Prime Minister Shigeru Ishiba issued a joint statement opposing any attempts to change the Taiwan Strait status by force or coercion. The U.S. State Department also removed language from its website that previously stated it does not support Taiwan's independence, a move praised by Taiwan but condemned by China. A third source revealed that Taiwan is preparing a special defense budget focused on precision ammunition, air defense upgrades, command systems, reserve force equipment, and anti-drone technology. Since Trump's first term, the U.S. has regularly sold weapons to Taiwan, including major deals for F-16 fighter jets. The Biden administration continued these sales, though often on a smaller scale. Despite Trump's tariff threats, Taiwanese officials remain hopeful about his administration's support for their security. In another sign of U.S. commitment, Raymond Green, the top U.S. diplomat in Taiwan, will remain in his position, even as other U.S. diplomatic roles undergo major reshuffles. The U.S. State Department confirmed that Green would continue leading the American Institute in Taiwan, the unofficial U.S. Embassy in Taipei. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.